Hey, 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 it's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News. I'm here with my guy, the Muslim Box. How you doing today, bro? What's going on, champ? How are you? Thank Man, you for I'm having me. Nah, it's always a pleasure to have you on board. I like keeping life simple, and that's something that you do. What's been going on in your world, bro? Oh uh, man, trying to be uh, uh 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 Jake Paul, but a better fighter. Uh, trying to be you know uh um this internet sensation to help my boxing. Trying to be the world champion. Trying to be a great father, great Muslim. Uh, I'm just trying to do my best. That's it. Well, you know what? One thing I know better than that, bro. You don't try. You do. You know Absolutely. what I mean. So it's no trying. You do it. I know that. Yes, I indeed. I, I see you and Lulu started a new song today. Man, you know what's crazy? So <laughs> she, I'm I'm just listening to her, and she just that's her favorite one of one of her favorite songs. And I'm like, well, I need to you know remind my daughter of more um, you know Islamic stuff and and mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. I said, let me remix this song. I said, I think kids will really enjoy it. Cause I I always do it in the house. I do it all the time with her. But I was mm -hmm. like, well, let me record it just to make it fun for everybody else. So let me see how they how they how they how they feel about it. They hey, like it. I <laughs> enjoyed it myself, man. You know, I, I'm I'm definitely going to share when I get a minute. You know what I mean? Because I like sharing your stuff because it's it's good wholesome stuff, bro. You know I what I mean? You know, yeah, so. Man. I, already, I I just know how it is. I rather I rather go to my lawyer saying that I did I, I did something nice with my platform than uh you know selling myself out. <laughs> oh my bro, you just too real, bro. <laughs> so 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 last time we spoke, man, I was I was nudging you and I was nudging you, like, hey man, you got any new news for me yet? Who done signed you? What's going on? Are we getting close? Still not signed. Uh, um, you know, we we getting very close. I think some real big news will come out probably by the end of this year. Um, kind of uh, keeping things close to the chest until it actually mm -hmm. comes out. Um, but once it comes out, it'll be it'll be big. You know, I'm excited about it though. Sounds um, like a winner. Sounds thing, like a winner. Um, but like you know, real people move in silence. I so, know that's right. I know that's right. And look, one, and I'm, I'm gonna remind you. You told me when it does happen, you're gonna break it with me now. Oh yeah, I got you. I I, I got you. I'm, I'm gonna hit you up right away. I'll let nice. you know. I, I like this, that. I would just I sign with this person. I got this fight. I got you. You got the exclusive. My man, my man. That's what's up. All right, we got a lot going on this weekend, and I wanted to get your expert on this. We got uh Devin Haney against uh, Lomachenko. Now, me personally, I don't go with the masses. The masses feel, though, that Devin Haney is just going to wash him. I, for some reason, I just don't believe that. W what you got on that, bro? Uh, Devin Haney's not a puncher like that. He Who has he ever washed? <laughs> and, like, you know, I got mad. I got I got so much respect for Devin Haney. He's a Same world. Here. Same he's, here. He's a young black champion so that that should go and a muslim me. brother and he's a my muslim brother so i'm rooting for him to win no but doubt I, but for me it's always about you know it, it things got to make sense you got to be very logical if lomachenko comes out with a hardcore uh uh pressing like if he puts pressure on on Devin Haney, i don't think he wins Devin Haney doesn't win if Lomachenko fights him like he fought, um, excuse me, if Lomachenko fights Devin Haney like he fought, um, like he fought um, Teofimo Lopez, Devin mm -hmm. Haney wins because you're going to give him the time to actually think. If you put the pressure on him like you did, um, like you did, um, you know your 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 you know um, your early fights, Devin Haney's getting out of there. So it just really depends on what Lomachenko shows up. If the Lomachenko shows up trying to box him, Devin Haney's going to outbox him because I really do think that, first of all, Devin Haney's taller. He's the bigger fighter. He has the better distance. So, excuse me. <laughs> Y'all been trying to get out for the longest time. But if he has the better distance, um, I think Lomachenko, I think, I think Devin Haney has it. But if it goes to a pressure fight, 
Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it to, I'm gonna give it to uh, I'm gonna give it to Lolo. You know, and that's the same thing Lenar said because he done fought both of them, and he was saying that uh, uh, that Loma needs to get on the inside, <laughs> yes, or at least mid range when he's dealing with him. For the simple fact, you know, you can take away that jab from uh, Haney, yes, which is so important. But I agree with you about uh, Haney just wa- uh, Haney just washing him for one. Uh, a knock, a knockout, or a knockdown hasn't happened since 2019 with Haney. Yeah, so that he, shows that he's not a puncher. against a guy who really wasn't that like he wasn't up to par with him. I'm not saying he was a bum, but he wasn't mm-hmm. up to par with no Lomachenko or mm-hmm. no Linares. Mm-hmm. He wasn't. He wasn't an A A class fighter. Mm-hmm. So it, it is. It's not like you know. Take. I mean, uh, Devin Haney. Like I said, I want the brother to win. Mm-hmm. But it's not like he got power like Tank. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wee, well, you must have been up late. <laughs> I wasn't even up late. I just, I, I, I don't know what it is. You know, um, um, when it comes to, I, I, I'm trying to become. I'm trying. Lulu's grandchildren need diapers. You sound so like generational gotta, wealth. You talking about my brother? Yeah, Lulu's grandchildren need diapers. And so the way you get that skit that I did this morning, that I posted this morning, Mm -hmm. I was staying up editing that. And and it got mad. When I looked at it, it had like 933 likes in 56 minutes. So it was moving, moving beautifully. Well, there you go. But yeah, you know, the sacrifice that I'm making right now, all right, cool. Yes, I need sleep. I always need sleep. Uh, mm-hmm. I do get my rest. I always make sure, like, um, if it wasn't for you, I'd have been asleep. Hey, I'd have to, I'd have I asked you what you, you told me, 10 o'clock. No, you told because, me Friday morning. <laughs> because you're my guy. And if I keep, if I got a promise, I I, I got to keep my promise. I, and so I, let appreci- me, let me, I appreciate let me make so sure much. I, let me make sure I get this brother, his interview, and then I can go ahead and go to sleep. I might not even go to sleep. I might just go get a coffee and go about my day. Oh man! Hey, actually, this is my second time on because I started a seven o'clock a.m. show. That you got to hustle. Yeah, you gotta hustle. Yeah, I, yeah. And, listen, and it's I just boxing them. news. Man, I heard. Um, I was uh, I was listening to Kevin Hart, mm-hmm. and you know, I've I've been around some successful people that, you know, I I hear their Steve Harvey. Um, you know, they're getting up four o'clock in the morning doing a talk show, doing the interview, then they're doing something. Else. I, I guess that has to be the same thing for me. You know, it's only 24 hours in a day and right. I got to be a content creator. I also got to go into the ring. I got to box like that comes first. So yes. I have to box. I got to I got to I got to make sure I'm in tip top shape. On top of that, I got to be a father. On top of that, I got to be a husband. On top of that, I got to be a good Muslim. And I got to make sure I keep with my prayers. I ain't perfect. I sometimes mess up. I sometimes miss some prayers, but I try to make it up. I ain't perfect, but hey, I'm trying. At least you know you're not perfect, man, because none of us are. Only one man no. I knew was perfect, and they say it was Jesus. And, uh, you know. Yeah, the only per- perfect per- person I knew was uh, Prophet Muhammad and Jesus. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. Prophet Muhammad, Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yes, indeed. Hey, uh, I see that Andy Cruz is with Bozy in this. Man, I like that matchup a lot. Me I mean, too. 135 is on fire. Absolutely. I agree. Um, 135, 140, 130. Mm-hmm. I think um wherever those those uh those those names are, Devin Haney, uh Lomachenko, Tank, uh Tiafimo Lopez. Um, uh, um, I, I, Isaac Cruz, um, mm-hmm. you're going to have, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get Shakur you know, Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson. That's the one person nobody beats. Ooh, I was just about to ask you that question. That's I was about to ask nobody. you when the dust finally clears, if, who is the king the of the dust, hill? If the dust ever clears. <laughs> That's only if, yeah, because this, because this, 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 you're talking about the business of boxing now, huh? I mean, politics will have seven mountains, mm. 
and they'll never touch each other. I mean, and I'm not saying that I hate it. I, so I know with the fans, they hate it. I understand it because I'm in boxing. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to hate on it. But as far as, you know, if the dust ever close, there's so many things, like so many parts, moving parts and boxing that need to be, that don't, nobody talks about. Everybody's just like, oh, yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, well, they just they just need to fight. Like, that's not how it works. You're talking about two different promoters, two different managers, two different um, two different agreements. Money issues might happen. You talking about two different venues. They still have to bet on a. They still, I mean, they still have to, uh, uh, um, you know, auction off the or 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 or, or the, the promote site, for the, the uh, site that it's going to be on the site yeah. that it has to be on. Mm-hmm. Then on top of that, all the money has to make sense. Like you know, fighters are not just fighting for your comfort they're fighting for their families and so if it don't make sense it don't it don't make money it don't make sense there it is so and people have the right to demand whatever they want they might not ever get it but they are allowed to demand whatever they want and especially when people like Devin Haney Shakur Stevenson Tank Isaac Cruz all of those guys that are on TV they deserve to for what they want so if you as far as the boxing side the fan side, yeah, I want to see the fight too. I want to see everybody fight. Yeah, yeah. Business side, you got to understand. It ain't. It's not no crook stuff going on or whatever that other stuff. It's, it's business. It is what it is. Yes, you might see some bad decisions. Yes, you might see some 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 uh, some shady stuff going on. But as far as yeah, I I, I think that's in everything, literally everything, even in religion. You, it's, oh, the, yeah. it's, it's not it's not the it's not the it's not the religion or the sport itself it's literally the people in it it's just certain people that make make it make it might it might look bad but you can't overgeneralize and just say the entire thing is bad exactly so exactly i think that's i think that's where people kind of get overzealous mm-hmm. and they say Oh well, if some news comes out, they getting excited, or these two people are at the top, so they need to fight. I mean, that didn't even happen uh, uh, it, with Marvin Hackler and and all those other people. Like, how long did it take for them to fight? Uh, uh, Sugar Ray uh, Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard. How long did it take for Mike Tyson to fight Holyfield? How long did it take for Floyd to fight uh, uh, Oscar Pacquiao? Okay. Pernell Pacquiao. Whitaker yeah. to fight yeah. Chavez. Yes. Yeah, like, that is yeah. that is so true, man. I mean, you know, it, it it has to marinate to make it correct because both of them fighters are gonna ask for a particular dollar. And until they're able to com- commandeer that type of money, you exactly. know it's not, it's not gonna, gonna happen. Make no sense. Yeah. It's I mean, we sense. had a perfect storm happen with Tank and Ryan Garcia. You brought yeah. two different, you know. Uh, would I say genres or whatever to come together to make a beautiful uh, 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 absolutely uh, you know what I'm but, saying yeah exactly and that's what and that's that what, doesn't happen you don't get a perfect right. storm it doesn't happen time. and Ryan gets and that's why Ryan gets so much respect because he took that on his on, on while he was you know Young. He's, he's there he yeah. gets that respect nobody's not taking that away from him mm-hmm. it's just are you always going to get that and are you going to say you can't look at that and say, "Well, I'm, I'm I need to compare every single uh um a matchup like that." You can't. It's so many more. It's so many working, uh, different working mechanisms in order to make a complete fight. You got you got the ticket sales. You got the promotion. You got the talks behind the promotion. You got it's so much. It's so much. And I've just learned this just by just observing, mm-hmm. staying quiet. Mm-hmm. When I'm in certain rooms. And I hear the conversations that are going on. I'm blessed. I'm blessed mm-hmm. to be in the, you know, be in these, the, be in these quiet rooms. But while I'm in there, I'm learning, mm-hmm. and I'm hearing what's going on, and I understand them more. Also, it's 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 just God's plan. You know, you got to be patient about it. Whatever whatever's happening, that's just God's plan. Like you know, I didn't even think I was on box. I never <laughs> thought about boxing. And now look at it. like it's just God's plan. You just work with what you got. 
<laughs> it reminds me of uh, your skit. I watch all your stuff, man. And your skit about Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> We be we be we we be we be out, don't we? Be we waiting like, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I be out, inshallah. I be out knowing damn well you not ever coming out. You not ever doing nothing. It's been it's been watered down so much. Like even people when they, you say when you hear inshallah, you're like yeah, whatever. You ain't doing that. You ain't you ain't doing nothing for me, bro. Like you know, stop capping. Cut the cap. You know, it's 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 weird because. You know, it's not supposed to be used like that, but as in modern terms, that's just how it's used. It, it's God just willing. It, it, it God gives you, willing. It, it gives you a loophole. It <laughs> gives you a loophole. God willing. Because if God, God willing. for me to say, God know that I'm going to say no. <laughs> if God willing, I might say yes. <laughs> no matter what, God is willing. No, no matter what, God <laughs> wrote this down. God wrote that I was going to flake on you. So, you know, man. No, nah, I, I, man, I, I, man, I love my religion so much. Yes. There's so many, like, funny aspects in it. That's why I just, I just, I, I, that's why I so, it's fun, man. It's fun. I enjoy it's, it, man. Literally, life, talk- life stories. Hey, Ryan Garcia went to uh, uh, Derek James. He says he's his new trainer. How about that? My guy. Yeah. I like that because that lets me know that he's going to get the fundamentals. And from yeah. with the fundamentals, you can go so many different ways with that. You know, but if you don't have that foundation, it's kind of hard to do what you need to do. And I just feel though with Derek, he's going to get it. Yeah, I agree. You talking about uh I don't know why he's with that first coach anyway. Uh, oh, uh, goodness. Derek, uh, 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 Joe, Joe Goosen. Goosen? Yeah. Yeah, Joe Goosen. I, I was just like, Joe Goosen, yeah, he was he was a good fighter. Like, he had he had uh, um, um, Diego Corrales. And, of course, that iconic fight with him and Castillo dropped oh, five man. times. Beautiful. Kept telling him to come up. Yes, nobody's taking it away from Joe Goosen. But uh, this new style of fighting ain't for him, ain't for Joe Goose. That's like, you know, no offense. And, you know, that's like somebody telling me, yeah, yeah, I got Eddie Mustafa as a coach. And it's like, Eddie Mustafa is, is, like, is like an uncle to me. That's my guy. But Eddie Mustafa's like 80 years old. Like he, or something like that. Like he's just not hip to right, a certain exactly. type of movement. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't like, I remember one time I'm, I'm coming I'm coming out of the gym and this dude was like, "Yeah, uh, back in the day we used to run in Thames or or like military boots and we used to run miles." And he, I was like, and "That's and bad for about, you." Yeah. And he said he was like, "Yeah, that's the that's the best thing." I said, "Running or the boots?" He said, "The boots." I said, "Why?" He said, "Because the boots keep your feet stationed." I said, "But all fighters are movers now." I said, "Everybody, everybody everybody's boxing." I said, "You got to keep up with the times." This ain't this ain't no Joe Frazier slug it out. This ain't no Marvin Hagler, you know, Hearns slug it out. This is boxing. People box now. You talking about a you got a 6'8, 270 pound Tyson Ferry who can move like a middleweight. Mm-hmm. You really think somebody in there in with boots? All you're gonna do is mess up your feet. On top of that, I want to talk like this for the rest of my life. I ain't getting hit. I don't want to get hit. I don't like getting hit. And if I do get hit, it's okay. But I don't like getting hit. Exactly. So I'm a move. The sweet science is to hit and not get hit. Exactly. I just posted a video like that. It's just hit and not get hit. It's something that we, you know I've always worked on. But you have to go. You have to grow with the times, and you have to adjust. That's what a great boxer, a great coach. Uh, a, a a great person. Period. It doesn't matter what aspect of life you're in. You need to adjust to the times. Certain things might work for certain situations, but they adjust and they 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 graduate. You know, to all right, we we're doing this now. So you got to move like that. Just like boxing and social media, they go hand in hand. Hand in hand. Yeah. Because nobody Rigan Dial is the perfect person. 
He had no social media. He had he wasn't marketable. Bob Arum called him a lizard, mm. which is that's a problem in his own. You know, deeply rooted. You know, certain things, but that's 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 neither here nor there. Right. But it's just as far as marketing, you need to uh, market yourself different. So that's why social media goes hand in hand. Jake Paul's making money. It is. Thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. That boy's making that boy's making millions. KSI making millions. Tommy Fury. All these other guys, you wonder why these guys are getting these fights because they are playing the game right. You got to play the game right. You can't play Pac-Man and think that you're just going to run into a ghost all the time. Mm. You got to get a power pellet, don't you? You got you got to know how to you got to know how to maneuver the drugs. That's you got to right. know how to get away from the thing. Go get the cherries and the bananas and get you know to, to get faster. All that other stuff. You play the game right. If you yeah. play the game right, you'll win. But if you That's play right. the game like how you want to play it, you gonna bump heads. You are gonna lose every single time. You know, and I was one of them old school guys, man. That I ain't got no Instagram. I don't be on YouTube. But then I realized I need this. You Everybody. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Simple as that. Because like, this is the way of the time. You yep. know what I mean? I, I Me on Instagram and all that type of stuff, I, I'm like, why? Now no, I know of course. Why. If you, if, if, now the thing is, you can stay away from Instagram if you work the nine to five. Just exactly. a random nine to five. Yeah. And you really weren't, uh, you weren't doing anything, but you are, you are radio tacos. Mm-hmm. You are a you are a, a personality for mm-hmm. for social media. You mm-hmm. need it. That's right. You think you ain't going it, it, it's not like back in the day where you could be like, "Yo, you know, the radio was the only thing that people listened to." So of course, you didn't need to um right. You know, you didn't need to have social media, but that's not it's so many outlets. You need all of them. That is so true, oh. man. And I, I watch how you roll, and you rose it out, brother. Yes, sir. You, you know, and it's so important, man. People got to understand the blueprint. You know yes, what sir. I mean? Because, like you said, the boxer needs social media. Man, I took that blueprint from KSI. You mm-hmm. know, I, I'm never going to take that away from him. Mm-hmm. I took that blueprint from blueprint from KSI, and then I mm-hmm. took that blueprint from uh, from Jake, and I ran with it. That's I right. remember I told my man Jay Leon. I had 1,200 followers at the time. Mm-hmm. Told Jay Leon, I said, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get to the point where they can't say no to me. That's right. Because you're, you're, cause the people want to see. Because when your followers start speaking, that's the most important thing right there. Exactly. So I'm going to keep going until, like I said, and now I'm at a point where I want, I want to, I, I got some real goals. I want to, I want to become the muscle Mr. Beast. You know, I want to do for my Muslim families. I want to do for the Muslim world. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to travel and 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 I I, I have uh, I have a lot of dreams that I want to get done. So, you know, if God gives me the strength, gives me the power, gives me the mental uh, focus, Inshallah, Inshallah, <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. So, the thing is crazy. You say Inshallah, but you also say Amin. Say that again. So you you say inshallah, which is God willing, but you right. after that you say amin. Amin. So, amin. Just like amen. It's amin. literally the same thing. Amin. Okay. So when we say amin, that's a that's a dua. That's a prayer to okay. say, you know, yeah, God, please accept my prayer. Yeah, Allah, please accept my prayer. So as I say, it, Christianity, Muslims, they go hand in hand. Amin, amen, mm-hmm. same thing. Amin, amen. And so, yeah. So we say "Amen" to make sure that it's it's counted as a as a prayer. Consider it done. Yeah, absolutely. Amen. There we I go. I sent it to you. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 Yeah. Let's let's get that done. But now nah, uh, it's just it's just about putting in the work. Yes. That's All right. Well, listen, there, brother. I really appreciate your time. Uh, probably both of us are probably going to take a nap after this. <laughs> I know I, am. I I'm 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 up now. So now now I'm about to I'm about to now I gotta do some research on uh it, it. I might be starting this this kids thing, man. Okay. I, I, I think people I think people like it. I think I might just be starting these kids thing. Who knows? 
Let well, me tell we'll you see. something. I, I'm gonna give you a little tidbit. Eddie Murphy got paid when he started doing children's stuff. Yeah. yeah. When he started doing the voiceovers and everything like that, that's yeah. when he started really making the big money. I'm talking Shrek and all that type of stuff. That's Eddie Murphy. Woo. That's when the money started coming. So everybody got children, my brother. Everybody do. And the children are the biggest sellers in the world. Because they be like, Mommy, I want this, I want this, I want this. And after a while, you just buy it to shut them up. Yep. So, yeah, you're definitely on to something. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate it, man. You know, uh, it's always a pleasure talking with you. Uh, I feel like our conversations are very genuine. Uh, We can talk about boxing. We can talk about, uh, you know, uh, talk about religion, talk about kids. I I always appreciate your, uh, your interviews, brother. I appreciate you, my brother. And like I said, I, I like it because it's real and we never know where we're going. <laughs> yeah. And I appreciate it. But I'm glad, you know, we got we got we have the uh, uh, the predictions. I, I'll say it again. My prediction for this week, if Lomo pressure puts pressure on uh, on Devin Haney, he's going to uh, he's going to beat Devin Haney. But if he used the distance game, I got Devin Haney winning by decision. Okay, so, I got a quick question since you said that. One thing that I've seen going all the way back to Orlando Salido or Tiafimo, when you put that heavy pressure on Loma, sometimes that's not good for him. What do you think if uh, Haney comes with the pressure? Does he have the power to put the pressure on him, though? Ooh. Salido had that power to Ooh, put the pressure on him. You just hit me with a body punch. Tia, just Tiafimo, Tiafimo had the power to, to put the pressure on him. That's true. If I don't, I mean, if you got any type of mentality like me, if mm-hmm. you don't have power, yeah, I'm coming right through. If you don't have power, I'm I'm disrespecting you. I you, I'm I'm, I I don't care. You walk right I, through. Like, yeah, I just I just I'll take two or I, three. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I take two or three to get in, cause yeah. I, it ain't no pressure. Ain't no ain't no. Ain't, I, I'm not getting hurt yes. by coming in. Yes, I'm not taking no damage, so I'm 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 coming to hurt you, and I'll mm. take a couple. Yeah, you faster than me. All right, cool. But when I put this right hand on you, I'm gonna mm. hurt you. Mm. So, all right, cool. Yeah, I gotta take. I got you know. It's like walking through you know some flies. Like all right, cool. Yeah, some of them gonna hit your face while you swatting them away. <laughs> but you got one might you. get in your mouth. <laughs> one might go in your mouth, your ear, your nose, whatever. Your eye. Yeah, yeah. you like oh man, it ain't hurt you, it just bothers you. Yeah. Same thing. Them flurries are cool. They might bother you, but when I land, when I put my hands on you, put that boom on you, I'm gonna hurt you. So that's all it is. You know what? So, I like that. I like that. You know what? And that's what makes this fight so intriguing. I mean, uh, uh, Haney's going to have to keep him on the outside and pick him off. Absolutely. And Loma needs to come in, you know, and, and, and bring the pain. Yeah, I agree. All right, so we got a good fight coming on this weekend. Yes, I sir. appreciate yeah, you as always, brother. Absolutely. Other than that, this is your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News, my man, the Muslim Boxer, and we out of here.